was it before you found this look when you were going through the uh, cosmetic ideas with, um, with Brennan Lander? You know, it took a little while to um, find the, you know, the shape and the texture and the way the colors blended together. It was like um, just layering and trying different things. So, I don't know. I mean, we actually worked on it for, because we originally wanted maybe eyelashes, like mm -hmm. fake eyelashes. So we went from that to I wanted to, to be more organic than putting fake lashes. I wanted, that's when I created the shape of like drawing it in. So oh, that's it's almost cool. like drawing a fake lash. Oh, that's very cool. What was the uh, inspiration behind the, behind the look? His collection was sort of like about um, everyone, you know, unified the kind of united brotherhood of band type thing. He was saying like, you know, no matter what your ethnicity, you know, open your eyes and see that your neighbor is really not much different than you. So we thought of opening the eye and being more aware. Oh, that's very cool. Which I thought was a nice, you know, sentiment. And I, and I always feel like the eyes are the window of the soul. and. That's why I'm just like letting everyone kind of draw and be free with it and let the eye to sort of tell you what to do, if that makes sense. <laughs> no, it does. Let it the does. eye dictate. But we just wanted the skin to be the canvas. You know, his he did have a great photo to show me uh, of a girl and her skin was literally just white and then these eyes that just popped out like that was his feeling. So. Now, if you wanted to translate um, a very prominent eye look off the runway for day, what would you do with, with regular street makeup? You know, I think these colors are really wearable. Like, to me, the grays and the browns are so wearable. So, I think that you can combine the warm and cool tones on your street makeup, and I think it would just be a matter of tweaking the shape of it. Um, and probably during the day, you wouldn't wear as much glitter. <laughs> Why? Glitter's good. And maybe, <laughs> no, glitter is, we, I have a newfound light love of glitter lately. I, like I used it on my client for the Grammys last night. Um, and I was like, yeah, this stuff is great. And, you know, the products they're making with glitter now are much better. Like this this roller ball, if you notice, it's not falling everywhere. No, it's actually it's sticking. It's actually adhering really well. So Can I, I see I the bottle really quickly? <laughs> and now, would you feel that the, the makeup that you're doing has a contrast to the clothing that he's putting out today? Is it, you know, very structural versus very earth-like and ethereal? Um, I don't, you know, I mean, his, a lot of his stuff are, is pretty structured. I didn't see all of it yet. <laughs> he didn't have it all there. Oh, no. Yeah. Did you look at color swatches? I, I looked at colors and some inspiration photos. And he showed me some photos of the chocolate brown. He had a dress that had, like, the colors in it, but I haven't seen the whole. Wow. And it felt like a lot of his stuff was more organic. He like, didn't seem that structured no? to me. Okay. So Looking at his past and stuff, it looked like it was more Was it maybe more, but, I mean, maybe, maybe less this time? Yeah. So when you're putting together a look, a makeup look for the runway, how do you want to be close to the colors of the clothes, or do you want to have more contrast? Uh, close your eyes. Um, you know what? I I, it, I am. I think every designer seems to get excited about when you pick up a color from their collection. Uh -huh. You know, it seems like they love when you. You, you enhance, you accent the collection by using, or a complimentary, anything that will really help, yeah, enhance it. <laughs> and can you translate that for every day? I mean, with your clothes and your wardrobe, I feel like you should have a, a nice selection of colors that, I feel like every day women are, I don't know, in a different mood. 
it's like every, you don't wear the same thing every day. I think the same should go for your makeup, kind of. So you should never get stuck in a makeup rut. No. Her eye makeup is just astounding. You look fabulous. Thank you. It's well, just it's astounding. Me, like, this, you know, this is like sort of like working with pencils is so easy. So I feel like like the NYX products, they made a whole line of chocolate brown, which is Ooh. great. So I think women can definitely wear Because you can wear it as a line and you can smudge it into a shadow. You can do anything with it. Really. Yeah, and you can layer the shadow on top of it, and so it's more long wearing. Or you can, you know, create a shape with it by just literally drawing it in and then smudging it. And maybe you can actually, what we're trying to go for is making a, your eye, it's your eye only better, making it bigger and better, really. Cool. You know how to how to work with the shape to make it enhance it and make it even more more beautiful. <laughs> and, the, and the best way to do it really is just to take the time to play with, with what you have, to play with the stuff. Yeah, I mean maybe you're adding something like that glitter ball, or maybe you're adding some little touch, you know, to to your collection that you already have. Maybe it's just that one touch of something like a metallic gray or you know yeah but playing playing with makeup is it should be like it should be fun and, it, and you should try different things and you I find women do get in such a rut with it well I just got uh, the new NYX uh, Love and Florence collection oh the palette yes the, the eye palette and the colors are so different that you you kind of want to play with them like crayons yeah. You want to do something kind of crazy every day. <laughs> you want to play, you want to have that, like, it's like a wardrobe almost, like have a little wardrobe. And the thing about NYX is, look down, it's so affordable, you can have lots of things. Like, it's, it's so, the price point is amazing. And the quality is, is And astounding. I would never be able to do a show if the quality wasn't as good as it is. Do you know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. I was so excited about the quality of it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.